Thank you for watching another episode of Breaking Elegance where we help you improve your lifestyle with technology. Today we're going to cover the top five things that you can use to improve your lifestyle using the Google Home and IFTTT. I am your host, Angel. Let's get right to it. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It helps me keep you guys updated with what's going on in the channel. And I have a whole sleuth of stuff that I'm putting together just for you guys. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I can keep you updated on those platforms too. And if you want to talk to me, go ahead and hit me up on one of those platforms. I would definitely love to hear what you guys have to say. With that said, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So we want to go ahead and open up IFTTT. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and download it from the Google Play Store or from the App Store if you have an iPhone. This is the first screen you will see. I will give you a quick hint. Most of these are currently available as a pre-made applet, so you can easily go ahead and search for the Google Assistant and they might actually show up in that list. Since I did have them all activated and I do use them, for some reason some of them are not showing up. So in case you ever delete or remove one of these, they might actually not show up in this list any longer and you would need to manually create them. So the first one that I would like to add might actually be on this list at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and see if it is and I will enable it. And here it is. It's tell the Google Assistant to call your phone. And believe it or not, this is extremely helpful considering that I lose my phone all over my house. I just randomly shove it or chuck it somewhere and then I can't find it. And this has saved me from a gigantic headache at many points in time. I can just tell the Google Home to go ahead and give the phone, give the phone a call and then I can find my phone without going completely and totally insane. So I'm going to enable that. Boom. And the next one I'm actually going to create myself because the next one can actually be a lifesaver and a good tutorial on how to create an applet that's more than a simple phrase. So I'm going to open this up and you're going to see if this then that, which is exactly what if means. And I'm going to hit the this portion of it. And I'm going to select the Google Assistant, which is right there. If it's not there, you need to search for it. And for this, I'm actually going to say a phrase with a text ingredient. What do you want to say? Add. And then whenever you're going to put in a text phrase, you need to make sure you put in a dollar sign. That's what you're going to say. So dollar sign to calendar. And then I want the Google to reply what I said. Okay. And then dollar sign. So this is the, your text portion of it. I will repeat it so you know that it's correct. To dollar sign to calendar. Hit the check mark there. And the, that portion is going to be your Google Calendar. So we're going to search for calendar and you're going to see Google Contacts, Google Calendar and at a quick event. That's the only action that's available and your text field created at text field check mark. So if you say add etc to calendar then a quick I uh, will add this event to my calendar and it's going to send it to my specified email address which is the one that's currently linked with my ift i'm going to hit finish and now that one is done and ready to be used the next thing that i like to do is um uh, send a tweet out and that's also 
definitely an applet that's available pre-made and I thought it was really cool so I enabled that one so let's see if that will show up here it is so post a tweet using your voice and if your Twitter is already on your phone or you it might or if it's not it might ask you to log into your Twitter account but I believe mine is already logged in so I'm going to hit turn on it's going to bring me to this screen and there I'm just going to hit the check mark so I should be able to say uh, tweet and then the, like you can see here like I showed you before the dollar sign is there so whatever you say is going to be the input for that dollar sign that's the variable and then post to Twitter you could also use that as your alternate so you could say uh, hey Google post to Twitter and whatever you say after that will be posted to your Twitter and it will also repeat so as you can see just like what I created before you can it's going to repeat what your tweet is we hit the check mark up at the top and now we'll be able to tweet there is a pre-made version of this is do the same exact thing but post to Facebook and that's another really cool one if you're you know want to point uh, post some text on to Facebook that's uh, without actually touching your phone and or anything else that's another really cool one and let's see if that shows up but I think that one actually disappeared on me so I might need to create it by hand so let's go ahead and create another applet applet maker right here hit this portion select your Google assistant a simple phrase with a text ingredient and what do I want to say hit the check mark and now I created my post to Facebook by voice so one other cool thing that could be very helpful for productivity for your personal life can be to create uh, to do a task list and luckily there is already an applet created uh, for this so you don't need to go crazy let's uh, go ahead and make this one available so uh, look for the one that says add a task to your Todoist and Todoist lets you make a list unfortunately it doesn't really uh, let you schedule them through voice it only lets you create a task and then you could go into the application and schedule it for yourself but at least it's already there for you so let's go open this up turn it on I'm going to leave this alone but you could go through that later on you could change things around I'm gonna hit the check mark I already have Todoist all set up so it communicates with it if you don't it's going to ask you to log into your Todoist and uh, that's pretty simple and self-explanatory but now I can add a task to my Todoist by voice so let's go ahead and uh, move on and see if these work hey Google find my phone again how many times will you lose your phone this is getting annoying but okay here we go again and as you can see she's calling my phone hey Google Add meeting with Jason at 5 p.m. tomorrow to calendar. Okay, meeting with Jason at 5 p.m. tomorrow to calendar. Google, tweet, I am working on my new video. This is amazing. Okay, going to tweet. I cry like a little girl in bed every night before I finally go to sleep. JK, JK, I will post your lame tweet. I'm working on my new video. This is amazing. Hey, that's not cool, Google. What the hell? Google, post to Facebook. I think I love you. Posting to Facebook. I think I love you. Google, add a task. Get my taxes done. Okay, added get my taxes done to your tasks. Well, I hope that this video was enjoyable for you guys as much as it was for me. Hopefully the Google Home does not kill me, but that's okay. With that said, if you have any questions, anything about the channel that you want to talk about, leave them in the comments below. I would love to get back at you guys. I will do my best to answer those questions or comments as, as best as I can and as soon as possible. If you did like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you did not like it, you can also leave a comment about that so I can make the future videos better. And uh, make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you didn't already. With that said, you could also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. There is a link or uh, some information right here and also in the description below. Also, 
Anything else that is related to the video will be down there. With that said, you guys have a great one.